Hi everyone, it's Vicki with Vicki's Tigger Tales, and today is Halloween. Happy Halloween. Um, I am doing a Halloween tag that I was tagged a little while ago, um, and I'm sorry I haven't got a chance to do it before now, but I wanted to go ahead and make sure that I uploaded it before Halloween was over, since it is a Halloween tag. Um, Jamie over at Jamie's Disney Kingdom has tagged me in a Halloween tag. Um, there's 12 questions and I will leave them down um, below, although um, it's Halloween now, so um, I'm not going to really tag anybody or or um, uh, like do a shout out like to, you know, to do it or, at all because unless you want to do it for next year. Um, anyway, without further, I'll go ahead and get some into some of the questions. There's 12 questions. Um, the first one being, what is your favorite Halloween movie? And mine happens to be these lovely ladies, Sarah, Mary, and Winifred, the sisters extraordinaire, Hocus Pocus. That is my absolute favorite Halloween movie. Um, prior to being um, a huge Disney fan, which kind of always have been, I was never like a big horror fan. I'm not really into like all that like blood and guts scary stuff. Um, I do like uh, a little bit of the uh, magic and stuff like that in some of that. So uh, I really like the movie Practical Magic. Um, that is one of my favorites. And, um, and I would watch that during the Halloween season. Um, number two is... Let's see, what age did you stop trick-or-treating? I want to say that I probably stopped trick-or-treating in my early teens. I do remember going out with one of my best friends in her neighborhood, and I don't know that we really trick-or-treated a lot of houses. I think we maybe stopped at a couple that we knew the people that were there. And um, that would have been like 13, 14 years old maybe. Next question is favorite costume. Um, <laughs> I've had a few, actually some of the favorite costumes that I've seen or done were to my kids. <laughs> so, um, but my favorite, my kind of go-to, there's two of them that I usually go to if it's to work. Um, I used to go as, and I don't know if anyone remembers this character or not, and I can't remember if it's an SNL character or if it was some other comedy show, but the character's name was Edith Ann and she's a little girl. And I love dressing up as her because the costume was so comfy. Just put on a pair of PJs, some slippers, and start talking like this. Hello, but I like pretend that you're on a big, huge, rocky chair. And uh, my name is Edith Ann. And I have a little dog named Henry. And he's like my favorite thing ever. So yeah, that was one of my my favorite um, costumes. And then uh, my other go-to if I was going out was be like a, a vampire or kind of a, a pretty witch. Um, next was, let's see here. Do you go to haunted attractions? I love haunted attractions. I do actually kind of like being scared personally, just not, I don't know. It's like not on a movie. I don't like going to like, um, some of the horror movies, some of them make me laugh, but some of them really, really mess with my head. So, um, but I love being scared over at a haunted house, um, because I know that they can't touch you and I know that like some of the props they use are fake. So, um, but yeah, it's fine. The only thing that gets me is I don't like the uh, guy with the chainsaw, even though I know the blade's not actually going. Um, <laughs> still, he gets me every time. I will run as fast as I can away from that guy. Um, next, vampires or werewolves? I am absolutely team Edward. Uh, favorite candy. So it said favorite Halloween candy. My absolute favorite candy is dark chocolate. Um, I love Milky Way Midnights. Those are my absolute favorites. Um, there's other ones too, but they're more specialty like Seas Candy, um, dark chocolate, California brittle. But the Halloween candy, when I think of that, I think of candy corn. I think of those little saltwater taffies that are peanut butter flavored. Um, I think of, 
Oh, I like those, those little pumpkin, even those are candy corn as well. Um, some of the other kind of pumpkin themed or tasting candies. If I had to pick out of those, I, I like those peanut butter saltwater taffies, to be honest. Um, so I'd probably pick that. But my absolute favorite, um, like, convenience store candy is going to be the Milky Way uh, Midnights. Love those. Uh, let's see. Next one is, do you decorate for Halloween? Yes. If you've seen my Instagram, you know that I decorate. I absolutely love decorating my entire house from from uh Halloween on it is constantly I'm um, I'm putting something out or changing something up so keep an eye out because I do take a lot of pictures of them and put them on Instagram and my Instagram is Vicky's Ticker Tales T-A-L-E-S um and that is where you can find some of those pictures let's see my least favorite costume that one I'd have to think about a little bit because I usually try to do something um, very simple. So it's comfortable. I'm all about that. Um, least favorite. I don't think I really have one. Um, uh, maybe when I was younger, uh, I remember going, having to go out with, um, like a blonde wig on at one time. I think it was the Bride of Frankenstein or something. I had a blonde wig on and it was really itchy. So that was probably one of the ones that I would say that would be my least favorite. And then I have, let's see here. Oh, what costume have you worn more than once? Okay, so vampire or Edith Ed. Um, the Do you believe in ghosts? Absolutely. I believe that there is a spirit world out there. Um, and I do, I do believe that they can be contacted or try to contact you. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Um... And then what is your favorite Halloween memory? So, okay, so it might be one of my favorite memories, but I'm sure it's probably not my son's favorite memories. Um, my son is a redhead and we would used to, me and my, my two daughters who are older than him, we used to come up with some of the most creative costumes for him. Um, like, because he's a redhead. And I mean, not just red, I mean like flaming red. Um... So one year he was howdy duty and we dressed him up like a cowboy and then drew little lines right here for his face. Um, which was, you know, little, little freckles on him, which he already kind of had some. So I just enhanced what he already had. Um, he did get into it a little bit later on, but, uh, and, and those were some of my favorite, absolute favorites because I got to experiment with some makeup, which, um, he, he loved also. Um, but he was Howdy Doody. He has been, um, what else did we do? Chucky. We've done, <laughs> I'm ashamed to say, but we did the redheaded stepchild <laughs> one time. Um, and that was, that actually went over pretty funny. Um, he was like preteen, uh, getting ready to turn into a teenager. And so, um, he actually kind of like embraced that one too. And it, it got, it went over really well in the neighborhood people got a big kick out of it although it's probably not appropriate um but hey it's all in the spirit of fun so the others um then he started getting into it like he had broke his skateboard one time in half and so he's like mom why don't you like put a whole bunch of scars on me and like make me look like i'm bruised up and that i had like an uh accident so that was the first time that I ever got to really kind of experiments with like cuts and bruises and doing makeup and stuff. And it turned out really well. Like we put a slash up here on his, on his cheek that was like raised up skin and then it had blood coming down. I mean, we really got into some of the gore, like as far as like what makeup would make him look like black eyes and bruises and all that stuff. And he just like, you know, like sc scraped up skin it, it was, he loved it. He absolutely loved it. So, um, we, we did a lot of experimenting with like different makeups and different like cuts and bruises and broken things and stuff like that. So, um, those are some of my favorite memories because I was a single mom and when you can create some of those memories with your kids and have them be 
even though maybe some, maybe some of them were not so much appropriate, um, but they were lasting memories for them, that's important. Like, that was important. And um, they were really good. They were really fun memories. Uh, the girls, we went, you know, between princesses and ninjas. Um, she, there was a couple of times um, my youngest was like a princess and, or a fairy or a butterfly or that kind of stuff. So we played with makeup in their hair too. And that was always fun, like just dressing those up. So my absolute favorite memory is just helping my children with their own costumes. I'd have to say too, one of my, I, I was actually thinking about this a little bit more too. Um, my least favorite would be any costume that I had to wear a face mask on. Um, I cannot stand, <laughs> it's a weird thing that I have, anything on my face, um, touching my face. And so, um, and that, any of like those face masks that used to have the little drawstring that went around, mm -mm, no way I would not wear them. I would pull them off and, um, my mom used to hate that, <laughs> but it's, yeah, that was one thing that I really didn't, that I didn't appreciate. So there's my tag. Happy Halloween. Be safe out there. If you guys are going out and about, watch your children, check their candy, um, and uh, just be super safe. Um, if uh, even when the, if they're if you're passing out candy and some people are coming up to your door, because you never know. So um, thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for always being so supportive. I really appreciate that. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your Tell me your favorite costume. I want to know what your favorite costume was when you were growing up. Or even now. If you're dressing up this year, what you're dressing up as. So have a safe Halloween and um, I will see you next month.